Your, Your Excellency, uh, Dr. Tawfiq uh, Al Rabia, Minister of Commerce and Industry of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, Your Excellency, Deputy Minister Ibrahim, Ibrahim uh, Deputy Minister of International Relations and Cooperation of the Republic of South Africa. Your Excellency, Ambassador uh, Jaffa, uh, representative of South Africa in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Senior officials of our two countries. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to participate in the opening of the fourth session of the Joint Economic Commission between South Africa and Saudi Arabia. I'd first like to start off by thanking the government and people of Saudi Arabia for the very warm and generous hospitality that you've extended to our delegation uh, since our arrival here in Riyadh. The arrangements are highly appreciated and will go a long way towards uh, furthering uh, our friendship. It's a great pleasure to be able to celebrate uh, Freedom Day uh, in a friendly country which has uh, supported us in our struggle for liberation and has built uh, strong ties of friendship uh, in the years uh, since 1994. Yeah. I mentioned last night that uh, yeah. one of the waiters here in the Conference Palace mentioned to me that our icon, President Nelson Mandela, Madiba, had actually stayed in this very building when he came to Saudi Arabia some years ago to have an eye operation. And I think that's an example of the kind of people-to-people -people solidarity which we have enjoyed over the years. As you mentioned, Excellency, our trade and uh, investment relations, although they have grown over the years, remain also, in our view, below the potential which they could reach. Our total trade grew from about 27 billion rand, I think it's uh, uh, roughly uh, uh, two rand to the Rio. Uh, it grew from 27 billion rand in 2007 to 34 billion rand in 2011. And the vast majority of that is accounted for by the supply by Saudi Arabia of oil and petroleum products to South Africa. And in fact, Saudi Arabia supplies about 30% of our oil, and other GCC countries also supply significant <coughs> proportions of our oil. And uh, that will remain, and in fact, will become more important to us uh, as the crisis in Iran uh, continues to unfold. But while uh, Saudi Arabia is our number one trading partner in terms of imports into South Africa from this particular region, uh, it is only fourth in terms of the supply of South African products to other countries in this, uh, in this area. And we believe that there are opportunities to increase uh, that trade as well as to uh, diversify uh, the imports from Saudi Arabia to products other than oil and petroleum products. We look forward to the Joint Economic Commission uh, being able to come up with some ideas about how we can create the structures and institutional frameworks that will facilitate uh, an increase in that trade. And likewise, in the area of investment, according to our information, we have uh, <coughs> two recorded investments in South Africa by Saudi Arabian entities, namely the Saudi Basic Industries uh, SABIC investment in the plastic sector and another investment uh, in the communication sector. Uh, and then we have Gensec from South Africa, which has invested about 19.2 million rand in the Saudi real estate sector. Those are the only investments that we are aware of, uh, I think very much again uh, below potential. To uh, today's uh, meeting is that we have not actually met uh, in the Joint Economic Commission for quite a while, and since 2009. And uh, we feel that it is imperative as the world economy is changing and as we all continue to uh, experience the impact of the Eurozone crisis on our trade and investment relations, that dynamic parts of the world seek each other out and we <coughs> seek to strengthen uh, mutually beneficial relations between ourselves. I think it's becoming obvious to a growing range of commentators that among the fast-growing areas of the world is the African continent, which is poised to uh, experience a growth rate of an average of 5.5% this year and has grown by about 5% for several years in the past uh, little while. We have a sophisticated financial sector which is able to provide facilities across the continent and we are actively engaged in promoting regional economic integration in particular through the project between Southern African Development Community, the East African Community, and COMESA, which will create a free trade area from Cape to Cairo, embracing 600 million people with a combined GDP of one trillion US dollars. And we are aware of the fact that the GCC countries are also uh, fast-growing countries in the world, 
uh, and um, we uh, are therefore uh, focusing on uh, growing relations with uh, GCC countries. But uh, we are aware of the fact that uh, Saudi Arabia is the biggest economy in the GCC, uh, and uh, we think it's necessary for us to provide some additional dynamism uh, to strengthen that relationship. We look forward to the meeting of the Joint Economic Commission, being able to identify a number of ways in which we as governments can work together to facilitate a growing trade and investment relationship, as well as address the matters under the social chapter in the agenda of the JEC. And uh, we are also particularly happy that this meeting of the JEC will coincide with a meeting of the Business Forum uh, and uh, we are aware that there has been some exciting and important work being done by the Joint Business Council, uh, which we are looking forward to the announcement of uh, in due course in the, uh, later today. And lastly, let me just say that uh, your own proposal that we should establish work teams and a, a, a calendar of regular meetings, I think that that is uh, something which we would be uh, more than happy to support. Uh, and that we um, would look for, look to the officials to, to give us some details on that. So I look forward to, to coming back with you uh, tomorrow to hear the uh, outcome of the uh, Joint Economic Commission meeting. Thank you very much.